How's it going everybody? Brandon here coming to you in my gallery and studio today. This time we're going to do something a little different. Uh, a palette knife or painting knife um, exhibition this time that I'm calling Impression of a Rooster. So if you want to paint along with this one, get your painting knife and let's get to it. Alright, so I have a 6x8 canvas here, and as I may have mentioned, or if I didn't, this is a project, this is a, sp a specific request um, to have a rooster here done in kind of a more of an impressionistic look than what I normally do, so to achieve that I'm going to go with an all uh, painting palette knife deal with this one instead of using brushes, so I do have a little bit of a rough pencil sketch I threw in there just to give you an idea where I'm headed, but I'm about to cover all that up, so... I'm going to go with a background here of just kind of a creamy looking um, mottled kind of background. So I'm going to go with some white and a touch of yellow ochre. And I'm not going to mix that entirely well. I'm just going to kind of blob it on my palette knife here and come in here and drop this in and see what I'm getting. Maybe add a touch of raw umber into that, tan it out, brown it up a little bit. In the area that my rooster is going to be in, I'm going to drag that pretty thin because I don't want a lot of thick paint or lines where I'm going to be dropping my rooster in to allow me to get the paint how I want it. Out here on the edges, I don't mind a lot of texture. So just as long as we get pretty full canvas coverage out here on the edges, it really doesn't matter what the finished product looks like out there in terms of texture and color. So realistically, I think that'll do. We're gonna give that a few minutes to dry, then we'll come back in here and start dropping in our rooster. All right, now that my background is dry here, I'm going to be blocking in our rooster here with using the palette knife again, and I'm going to use basically red, uh, a medium red value, raw umber, black, and some yellow ochre to get this blocking in layer done. First thing I'm going to do is get into some red, add a touch of raw umber into that to darken that red up and come up around where this rooster's face is supposed to be. And drop in some of this dark, deep red color. And I'm doing a blocking in layer essentially the same way I would with using brushes. I'm just not using brushes, obviously. So I'm going to put in a, a layer of darker 
value and tone here into the areas that it um, is supposed to be in and come back in and drop lighter highlights in over the top. So I'm just using the tip of this palette knife here to drop in this darker color. And I have a smaller palette knife that I've basically chiseled the tip of it down to make me a small little point to do the finer detail touching with, so like a little eyeball in there. It's coming with some black to begin with, and drop that in. Move into some raw umber with a little yellow ochre in to put where this beak is going to be. Now I'm going to go into a lot more raw umber and a hint of that red and then drop some yellow ochre into that as well. I need a little more, more red into that and maybe a little more yellow ochre into that. Orange that out just a little bit. That's better. And then I'm going to get into black now and drop that in the rest of this body and chest area. Same thing back here for the tail. Now there's going to be maybe one or two feathers that I'm going to carry off to the end of this tail here that kind of hang down a little bit. So maybe I'll go ahead and put the indication of those in here. And there'll be a couple that dangle off the bottom and down here as well. And of course we've got some feet or legs that come down. 
and I'll just go ahead and put them in in black for now too, I guess. All right, that's a pretty good starting point of a blocking in layer. So again, we're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back and start detailing over the top of it. First here I'm gonna work in is up here at this face. So I'm going to bring in some more red here. And try to finish detailing out the stuff around the top of the head. Now we're going to have to start bringing in some lighter tones and highlights, so I'm going to bring in a little bit of titanium white into my red now. And then try to drop in some highlights up here. And again, doing this with all palette knife, you know, you're not trying to get crazy, crazy on your detail, but I am trying to highlight enough stuff to give you the impression of what's going on here. So we'll have, you know, light catching the edges of some of these facial features. Some of these things, <clears throat> excuse me, some of this stuff on the top of the head as well. Now that eyeball in there is going to be kind of tricky. I'm going to go into almost pure titanium white here. Just a hint, hint, hint of yellow ochre, but not much. And I'm going to try to draw in, with the tip of this thing, a circular eyeball. That's pretty good. And then we got to come back in the middle of that with black. Now that beak out there, we're going to go into yellow ochre now and add some titanium white to that to lighten it up. Let's see about highlighting out this beak. And now for our feathers here on the body, we've got these reddish orange looking feathers that hang down. Uh, I think I'm going to start in this black area here first. And there's some iridescent kind of bluish green hue in here, so I'm going to get uh, some, some phthalo blue. If you have an aqua or a teal green, that would be fantastic, but if not, just mix you whatever value of green you got with some white to lighten it up a little bit, and then you can introduce some blue into it with more white to get these kind of shades if you're trying to match it up. So I'm going to go into phthalo blue here with a fair amount of white to start out with. see what color I get by dropping that in here. It's not bad. 
bad. You can play around with your shades and your colors till you get something you like. And it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. We're just trying to get the indication that there's these iridescent kind of blues and greens coming in on the tops of some of these feathers in here on this rooster. Same thing on these back here on the tail. We want to kind of define out a few feather shapes with this lighter color. Basically, just drag it along the edge of some individual um, feather shapes that are there in that black to create some separation in them that'll look like individual feathers laying down back there on that tail. pretty nicely. We've got some white feathers that are dangling around back in here, but I think I'm going to come in here along our reds and orange and, and stuff first. So there's a little bit of a um, orangish feather that extends out here along the bottom of this. So we're going to drop in a few indications of that. And then using our red and our yellow ochre here to make some orange value, we're going to start out with just dropping in a couple of different layers of that color back here along this area. We'll darken that up just a little bit with some more brown come in here on the tops of this area here. Now we need to really brighten things up here with our orange. Back into red and yellow ochre, a little bit of white. heavy on the yellow ochre side of things here in this midsection of the neck. And I'm just kind of using the point of my palette knife here to drag through this color to give the impression of these feathers that are laying down through here. I'm going to come into some titanium white now on the tip of this knife and introduce that right here in the middle and drag through some of that wet paint just to lighten up some of that midsection. Do the same thing right down in here. straight into yellow ochre and 
dragging it down here from that mid area of the neck down along extend it out onto some of this um, black area to give the indication that there are feathers that are hanging down over it. Then I'm going to go back into titanium white again to lighten up just this middle area. Now, like I said before, there's a little bit of a white kind of a fluff of feathers that come off the back near the tail. I'm going to just drop in some white in here and drag it around to give that indication. And we can add just a few touches of highlight with uh, a little bit of titanium white in it along the front end. Something of that nature. Now all I've got to do is deal with his legs down there, which are mostly kind of a grayish. I'm going to go into brown or raw umber there, a little bit of blue, some titanium white. And I think we can call that a finished product. So this is a palette knife painting here of a rooster, a little bit of a uh, impressionistic type style here. Very quick and easy to do. Hope you guys enjoyed painting along with that one. Until next time, happy painting everybody.